y'all will not even believe this. My dad literally got stopped by the cops, by traffic cops, which is fine, but they take his license and then they jump in the car and they leave his license with some other cop. And my dad is like, what is the issue? They don't say anything, right? Because clearly there's no problem. He's just doing, he's minding his own business, dropping me off at the airport. But the issue is now, oh, you gotta give us something. You gotta give me something. You gotta give my captain something. My dad is like, I got $10, here it is. And he's like, oh, you need to slow down, stop, stop, stop. We're literally like 500 feet from where they stopped us initially. So uh, my dad is like, you got $10. And they are like, no, at twenty dollars because I gotta split it with my captain. Really, Congo? Really? This is this is what we're doing. So I'm like, hella frustrated. Like we are stopped. I'm so glad that we left super early. But like, what is the purpose of having a traffic cop? All they want is money, and all they're doing is not even traffic. Like right now, I'll show you. There is really no like traffic controlling happening because. They're just talking about money and about how much they can get from my dad, which is just ridiculous. Really, Congo? At the airport in Kinshasa. I'm gonna put my stuff in here, take off my shoes, and get going. Hi guys, finally boarded. I got my trusty little DVD. We are practicing some version of social distancing even though outside of this place I haven't seen people wear masks. I don't know man. It's like it doesn't exist here. Anyway, I'll get on the bus and that bus takes us to um, the plane and then I'm heading to Addis. I'll spend the night there and then I will be heading to Zimbabwe. I'm so excited. I haven't seen my sister in like six years, so this should be fun. I'm bringing you guys along. I hope you enjoy this. Alright, y'all made it to the bus. Getting on the train, I'm literally like right up front. And this has been both the longest and most frustrating day so far, but my nails are overgrown. The first thing I do when I land is get a manicure. I know it's very vain, but it's my birthday. I'm so excited. Welcome to my room in Ethiopia. I mean, Addis. <laughs> Very easy. Uh, main test for me. This is what I look like. So you guys know my travel uniform. The main test. Ooh, sorry, gotta put my little baggy down. I told I should say down is what the bathroom looks like. Okay. Pretty standard. Okay. Ooh. Hello. These are the days I'm glad I brought my own soap because this is what they gave. <laughs> How am I supposed to clean up on this? Why that? Pro tip people, people, I can't speak. Pro tip people always travel with your own soap and towel for that matter. So that looks good. Nice queen. I'm okay with it. Cute artwork. Well guys, I'm gonna turn in and call it a night. Welcome to the Ethiopian airport. This is the Addis airport. It's pretty snazzy. 
I remember when they were still constructing it. It was a mess, but here we are. Security there. Should probably just grab something to eat because I am starving. I don't know. Maybe dinner last night wasn't sufficient. I take that back. Dinner last night was definitely not sufficient. So I'm gonna see if I can grab something to eat here. This is where I'm going. It's actually really beautiful the decor in this place. And to the end of the place they have a little bit of a buffet. Two free stores, and this is what the one in the Addis Airport looks like. Some pretty cool pieces here. Here, Orthodox Christian. You can see a lot of religious references in their work. African looks like <laughs> just Hi babies. <laughs> 